In India, where Royal Enfield's fully developed 650cc scrambler was spotted as a prototype in March 2023, there was still no agreement on what the new model would be called. There was some clarity since October 2024. As in Australian homologation, Royal Enfield 650cc scrambler is referred to as the Interceptor Bear 650. With the Interceptor Bear 650, Royal Enfield expands its range to include an air-cooled 650cc twin, taking it to five models in total, alongside the technical godmothers the Interceptor, the Continental GT Super Meteor and Shotgun 650, and Royal Enfield seems to be serious about its scrambler credentials with the Bear as new USD forks and a new shock absorber offer significantly more suspension travel and ground clearance. The latter is supported by a new 2-in-1 exhaust system, which fits more closely to the engine casing than the 2-in-2 version of the previous 650cc model. The new running gear is housed in a familiar steel chassis. It is not clear from the first images whether Royal Enfield has changed the wheel diameter on the Bear from 18 inches per axle to 19 inches at the front and 17 inches at the rear as on the scrambler. The new cockpit is clearly visible on the new Royal Enfield Interceptor Bear 650 instead of the two round, partly analog clocks on the Interceptor. A single instrument can be seen in front of the new handlebar with a center stand. It is not yet clear whether it is a full TFT display or the partly analog one already known from the current shotgun 650. The Aero cooled inline twin engine is likely to be carried over to the Scrambler without any significant changes, that is, with a 270 degree crankpin offset, 648cc and 47hp 34.5kW at 7300 rpm and 52nm at 5150 rpm. With this rated power, the Enfield fits perfectly into the European A2 driver's license category. Experience shows that only a few weeks pass between homologation in Australia and the first official launch of a model. In the case of the new Royal Enfield Interceptor Bear 650 and the approaching ICMA, it can only mean that the new model will be present in Milan in November, and preferably in the offensive color combination shown. 